Hallelujah. Shalom. I am so glad that you're here with me again today. And um, I don't know if the algorithms got you here. Haha. -ha. Or, um, or you were actually looking for me. But I do believe that um, everything that we do, God is always working things together for good. So however you think you got here, um, I am going to speak into your life that the Lord is bringing this word, especially for you, just for you. And um, whether it is an answer to prayer or whether it is wisdom, um, that you are seeking for someone else or it's wisdom that you need in your own life. I don't believe in coincidences or happenstance or any of those kind of things. So um, remember your days, my days are already written in his book and um, predestined for success in the kingdom and um, in, in doing that don't forget your free will can keep you from the great blessings of God and they're really the only thing that can keep you from the great blessings of God for what more could he do that he has not already done so thank you so much father for this time together for this other opportunity to um, expound on something from your word and um, I just thank you for the blessed opportunity to get to speak out into the atmosphere and um, plant these seeds in others' hearts and also to bear them up in strength in my own heart. And I thank you so much for that in Jesus' holy name. Amen. All right, today we are going to talk about Proverbs 27. I'm sorry, <laughs> Proverbs 12. 27 Proverbs 12 27 the lazy man does not roast his prey but personal possessions are precious to the diligent okay so this is how we're gonna go with that how we're going to go with that is we have the Word of God in front of us all the time matter of fact if you are in America and you're watching this, you probably have at least two or three Bibles. Um, not just in your house, you may own two or three Bibles. Uh, one of the ministries that the Lord has placed on my heart years ago that I am going to uh, see come to fruition and is a real blessing is something called Rapture Bibles. Um, all these Bibles that are going to be left behind are they, um, I want to personalize them and um, leave them as I said because there are no accidents um, just think of that Bible that is in your house that is going to be left behind when you rapture uh, is it going to never have been cracked open is it going to be in perfect and new condition or is it going to be weathered and written in and um, cherished and um, how is that Bible going to look so that's how I want to tell you about this success blocker this success blocker is we have the very Word of God in front of us we have the Holy Spirit within us and we have all power and authority in the name of Yeshua Messiah Yeshua Jesus the Christ so what are you doing with that are you letting it rot um, these are things that I have to um, be diligent about myself uh, I listen to a lot of sermons a lot I have some you know my apostles are amazing they teach us every week train us and equip us um, but I have to make sure that I stay in the word that I don't just have things that um, I let go to rot so if you have the Word of God in your home then are you letting it rot are you being a lazy man about it or are you doing the end of this verse in which it is precious to you it is priceless to you and um, well-worn 
so oh and holy spirit just told me well worn well worn is not just how the book is but let's have a play on those words well worn are you wearing it well are you wearing it well are you being a good representation of the kingdom do people would people look at your life and want your god that's how i live that's you know for me those are the things that are important i have to look at things and go okay what am i saying what am i doing am i blocking other people's success by my life or am i making their life either better or making their life look like man i don't need this anymore i don't want this anymore i don't have to have this anymore you know look at this girl look at what she's done in the last three and a half years um i've gone to school i've gotten certified i have become a minister i help my parents i am no longer bound by uh, by addictions by abuse by misinformation by the spirit of religion and poverty and um and that all came just from following the holy spirit and by being in the word all of that came from being in the word if i had not been in the word if i'm not in the word presently then my life will not mirror mirror jesus and grow from glory to glory so everything that i have done has been because of taking the word roasting it getting everything good out of it and applying it ingesting it making it part of my life so wear that word well and wear that word well and that will no longer be a success blocker in your life letting the word of god go to rot have a wonderful day thank you so much and be sure and share because as my grandkids say sharing is caring and you know it really really is